All right, we're back. Um, we were talking about the um, the traveler sheet, ways to reduce a risk uh, about staying in from dusk to dawn, use an effective insect repellent. Um, and of course they're recommend ones, they're recommending ones that have DEET. I don't use repellents that have DEET. I try to use ones that are DEET free because environmentally those aren't very safe. Um, I actually will be looking into DIY um, repellents. You know, there's a, there's a number of essential oils and different things you can use to protect yourself. Um, and if you, remember, I don't know if you all are familiar with this sister from um, Soul Healing Channel in the Gambia. Uh, she was in the States and she repatriated with her children and her husband. And she says the mosquitoes in the Gambia are gangsta, right? That they're very intelligent. So we have to make sure we prepare properly. Um, so please check out her channel and listen to how this sister battles the mosquitoes on the continent. Uh, treat your clothing with some kind of insecticide. Sleep under an insecticide treated bed net. So I do plan on making up a DIY spray that I will be spraying in my house, on my clothing, on my sheets. And that's going to be my perfume while I'm there, right? Um, then they talk about, you know, all the medications that suppress malaria and I don't know, again, that'll be up to you how you choose to proceed with that. I am looking to start taking those herbs and treating myself and getting my immune system in order so that malaria will not be an issue. Um, symptoms of malaria. Symptoms may start as early as seven to eight days after exposure, but may be delayed for weeks or months. Symptoms include fever, which may be intermittent body ache, weakness, headache, vomiting, abdominal pain, and cough. Now, this is interesting because I remember being in the Gambia, I'm sorry, in Ghana, and the sister that we stayed with in Ghana had an issue with malaria. And initially she didn't know if she was just not feeling well, if she had a flu or some, some flu, type virus or something and she lost her sense of smell so malaria affected her in that way where she couldn't smell anything i don't know what her taste buds were like but i knew her sense of smell had gone completely so that's another symptom that you know may not be something you really hear about but something like that could be part of what you're experiencing um, and they definitely recommend seeking medical attention you can always see a doctor in the country where you are staying on the continent, right? There are very capable doctors who are used to treating this kind of thing. Even the people that you associate with will probably tell you you can get something over the counter. And obviously we know if you get something OTC over the counter and it doesn't work, then you need to go and see a medical professional. And they talk about, oh, something else someone told me that had malaria said that it kind of runs for like a few hours at a time, like it comes in and out, right? Like a roller coaster. So for maybe six to eight hours, you'd be feeling like crap and then it will kind of subside and then it will come back. So maybe that's it trying to attack the system. That's how I associate it. But I did hear people talk about it like coming in waves. You kind of feel okay, then you feel worse and then it's like an in and out type of thing. So, you know, it's real and we should be prepared. Um, another thing they talk about is uh, for protecting against the bites. Um, any place that your skin is going to be exposed is where you want to spray these, uh, you know, repellents, right? Um, also, I like to wear those little rubber, um, they, they say that they're impregnated anklets and wristbands, right? I don't know, y'all. I just would say it's a deep wristband. So it's it's a wristband um, that protects against insects and bugs and stuff like that. They also have wipes and they have a little thing that looks like um, like a perfume jar. So you know how you have like the little bottles and they have the ball inside of them and you can roll it on your skin. They have ones like that that actually have insect repellent and they are deep free. So you have those as an option. Um, when you're kind of just sitting in your house maybe or you know socializing with someone, they also have mosquito coils, the foggers, they're like the things that you burn that's like incense. They have that. Um, and they have something in the Gambia uh, that I know of called, I think it's Boya or Koya. And it's like a smoky type incense that keeps the bugs away. 
Um, also, you know, wearing long sleeve clothing, long pants, loose fitting clothing. I mean, that's something I do anyway. So I guess I'll be protected in that way. But my ankles, my feet, my hands, my face will be exposed, my neck most likely. So those are the areas, your back, any place where that clothing is not covering, um, you probably want to spray and then you want to spray it on top of your clothing as well. Um, screened windows and doors, avoid exposure. They talk about from dusk to dawn from malaria. So whatever country you're going to, you figure out the times. Avoid dark clothes. So um, they're saying if you're wearing light colored clothing, you can see if something's on you or trying to attack you, right? And I would actually um, recommend traveling with a little spray bottle, like a little mini something to refresh your spray especially if you're in an area where you know it might be more of an issue. I know many of us will be spending more time outside, in yards, socializing at people's residence, stuff like that. Um, destroy nearby breeding sites. So they're talking about tires, cans, buckets. So that sounds like places where water might accumulate. Avoid perfumes, colognes, and perfume body lotions. I learned that lesson the hard way. I remember my first time going to Jamaica the body shop had just came out with mango butter. And yes, honey, I got the bright idea to wear this mango butter in Jamaica. Why well, I do that? When I tell you I look like somebody, um, I look like someone with maybe, I guess, measles, right? So I didn't have any raised bumps, but I had red splotches all over. Like it looked like I had a bad reaction, like I ate something. Um, the mosquitoes tore me down. I guess they was like, we got a giant brown mango. And they went to town and I had all these little red, red, red splotches all over my face, my arms, everything. They tore me up. They tore me up. Um, so you don't wear things like I did that will attract the bugs to you, right? Um, the other thing is I was also under the impression that I couldn't tan, right? I was like, I'm brown already. What's going to happen? No sunblock, no sun protection. You know, on the continent, the sun is different. So I, rec I imagine shea butter. You know, different things like that will protect you better. But I would recommend mixing some type of essential oil that would keep the bugs away because you don't want to be like a buttered up, you know, sweet piece of chocolate, right? You want to make sure you protect yourself. Um, the other thing they talk about is tick bites. I haven't really heard about ticks in that part of the continent. Um, so I imagine they just talk about bites that might be an issue for you maybe on in the US. I know ticks are more, probably more of an issue here, um, especially with like deers and stuff like that. And maybe people in the woods, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with how ticks would be on the continent. I don't think I really thought about that. I'm just addressing uh, the mosquitoes at this point. Um, and then they talk about also, you know, some of us, we don't do well with the bacteria or the fungus, fungi that are in the water, right? So if you're going to be drinking the local water, make sure you boil it to a very high temperature. So that's called treating it. Then you might want to use like, a, um, what do you call it? A, some kind of filter as well might be an option or just stick to bottled water. But if if you go someplace, like if you're eating street food, like I do, one of my favorite things to do is eating street food. Um, sometimes I will buy fresh vegetables and then I bring them home and wash them under the sink, right? And what the water from the sink, and I don't even think about, oh, this water might have an issue. I'm just washing my vegetables off. So I didn't have any problems with anything that I ate, but I don't know if everyone would be able to do that. So you might want to use bottled water when you're washing off your vegetables and stuff like that. Just be conscious of, you know, what could be an issue for you. Um, they also have something that they recommend for that, something called Cypro. They tell you to, to carry it with you. Um, to address any stomach aches or upset stomach or diarrhea because some people suffer from those issues. Um, you could take Tums with you as well, I imagine. That would be something helpful. Um, and travelers, diarrhea, danger symptoms, severe abdominal pain, high fever, shaking with chills, bloody diarrhea, vomiting or uncontrolled diarrhea causing dehyd dehydration. So these are the danger symptoms, right? Also, to prevent travelers' diarrhea, watch your diet. We talked about that. Be careful. Um, pay careful attention to what you eat and drink. Make sure you're washing your hands. Um, and they talk about antibiotics. 
not being recommended for travelers. Um, I'm not going to get into that because, you know, I'm not a medical professional. Um, medications not to use for preventing diarrhea. They said do not use Lamatil, Imodine, Imodium, Paragoric, and Kaopectate. I remember Kaopectate. I remember my mom talking about that. Should not be used to prevent diarrhea. And I imagine you're thinking in terms of you being constipated and not being able to go, right? Because it might stop the issue, but then you'll be all constipated with this bacteria or whatever just bubbling away um, at your immune system. So you don't want to do that. Um, and they even talk about the types of diarrhea, right? Um, I'm not going to get into all that, but